The Environmental Protection Agency just has two days left to make its June 1st deadline for year-round E15 sales. Lawmakers are hopeful, but issues with small refinery waivers continue to linger. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock reports. Iowa lawmakers expect E15 will be available for the summer driving season. A month ago, when the hearing process ended, where the public could issue their own comments to EPA, when that was over, they said they'd be able to get it done by June the 1st. So we've been counting on it. But getting a rule across the finish line isn't the only priority. We fought very hard for this. We're giving consumers a choice at the pump. Uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, we do want to make sure that as everything is being finalized that there aren't harmful issues included in this that would uh, slow down our progress with E15. Ernst says she's pushed the president on one of those harmful issues, namely small refinery exemptions, which she says may be a greater threat than year-round E15 is a benefit. A lawsuit filed Tuesday by farm and ethanol groups fuels demand from lawmakers that EPA reallocate previously waived gallons and stop granting new waivers. And I would say to uh, Wheeler, he always says, well, don't forget, we got two circuit court opinions saying we got to do this. Well, don't give the waivers and let them sue you again. That's what I want Wheeler to do. With the EPA administrator standing by his agency's obligation to grant waivers, pressure mounts for the agency to reach the June 1st deadline for the year-round E15 rule. EPA officials say they're quite confident they'll make it. In the process of reviewing the many, many, many public comments we received on the proposed rule, and we certainly look forward to finalizing said rule in time for the June 1st start of the summer driving season. Despite current historically low prices for renewable fuel credits, EPA's year-round E15 rule is expected to make some reforms to the credit system, though officials say they'll be focused on additional transparency and preventing manipulation. The president is expected to travel to Iowa to make an announcement on this issue in the coming weeks. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington.